What's up guys? I uh, just got back from doing a uh, steady state cardio session. It's about 10 o'clock. Um, just want to make a quick video on something that gets brought up quite a bit to me and I actually talked about it on the most recent podcast and I think I've had the question asked at least three or four times this week. So I figured it would be good to touch on and that is how I structure cardio or how I fit cardio in when the amounts get high you know as far as my schedule and stuff because I'm pretty busy um, so you know obviously when you're in a contest prep situation or in you know a deep deficit and cardio is high frequency duration all that stuff it, it does get a little tricky to fit in just because you know it takes a lot of time so honestly my answer is normally get a piece of cardio equipment for your house that is the best thing that you could possibly do um, my preference is a bike and that's just because you know you can do hit on it sprints and stuff and you can obviously do steady state cardio on it and it's just super convenient and they're, they're not really that expensive normally when I mention bike and doing hit and, and stuff people are like well I can't afford a two thousand dollar spin bike well either can I so I don't have one um, I have a hundred and eighty dollar stationary bike that I got four or five years ago it was a floor model it was already put together had a bunch of scratches on it you know so it was cheap all I really do is change the batteries. Um, you know, the padding on the seat's pretty wore out, so you know, I think I'm gonna get one of those uh, one of those sweet gel seat covers that you can get at Walmart for a bicycle. But outside of that, it's super cheap, um, lasts forever, has a timer on it, has a resistance knob on it. You know, so I can obviously do different types of hit, wind gates, things like that. Um, so that's the way to go and second would be doing cardio outside tonight that's what i did i did it outside uh, it's been really freaking hot but you know it's not too bad right now it's in the high 70s i think kind of humid but not terrible um you know for that you're going to want some kind of tracking device so to you know track your caloric burn a lot of you that work with me uh, know that i like to use um i like to use calories to track steady state cardio versus uh, strictly time and uh, you know a big reason for that is it's going to be a little more accurate in the sense that you know when you're getting when you're really tired or maybe you're having a really off day you could uh, vary drastically uh, drastically in the amount of calories that you're burning in a session especially if you're doing something like walking outside now if you're on a treadmill and you're doing you know the same incline and same speed for the same exact time it's the same so that's obviously not an issue but uh, you know doing it outside doing it on a bike especially things like that um, pretty much anything besides the treadmill maybe step mill it's going to vary a lot just because your energy levels and your pace are going to vary day to day so that's where the tracking device comes in you know there's a lot of different watches and things like that would track calories uh you know and and there are there are some discrepancies as far as how accurate they are you know some of them vary a little bit um the main thing is that you use the same you know use the same tracking device all the time simply because it'll be consistent so you know if it's off a little bit Nah, not a huge deal if it's off 20 calories here and there because when you adjust up or adjust down, you know, it's accurate. You have that set point that you started with with the same device in the first place. It doesn't really matter. Um, so that's, you know, that's what I like to do for outside. I have a, a specific route that I take. Um, you know, I have it all mapped out and stuff, and then I can add to it or take away from it. But, uh, but yeah, guys, get a piece of cardio equipment in your house. Cheap stationary bike with a resistance knob and timer is a lifesaver um, and then a, a calorie tracking device usually uh, usually I suggest something like polar it's a pretty accurate brand uh, you know they have a few different products at different price points but uh, yeah I just I get asked this specifically because you know when when the amounts uh, of cardio get high and the time gets you know you're kind of in a time crunch people are like well gosh I gotta get up you know hour and a half early because I gotta go 30 minutes to the gym hour on the bike, half hour back, get ready for work, or leave the gym to go to work and whatnot. Um, it's really not worth your sleep to travel like that when you can spend just a little bit of money and get a piece of equipment. I can't even tell you the last time that I've done cardio at the gym. It's rare, it's really, really rare, unless I'm doing triple sessions or something. I think the last time I did cardio at the gym was in prep, uh, to prep of 2013. So it's been a long time, and I've done tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of cardio since then. And I'm doing a pretty good amount now. It's just that I do it at home, I do it at night, I do it on my bike, whatever, you know, whenever I can. 
So those are my tips. Save yourself some travel. Save yourself a ton of stress. You can literally get up in your underwear, jump on your bike, do your cardio in the morning. Yeah, you still got to get up early. Yeah, you still got to do it. Yeah, you have to be self-motivated because the bike is at your house and not at the gym. So you don't have that a little extra incentive. But if you can do those things, you save a heck of a lot of time, you get extra sleep, and you're a hell of a lot less stressed. So that's my quick tip for the night. Hope you guys enjoyed.